Liz Boone is the Global Director uh, Digital and Social Engagements for General Motors. Um, and she's going to give us a quick case study on building communities without borders. Liz, welcome. My mic on? Hello. I'm going to do my own clicking here, so hopefully it won't, I won't screw this up. Excellent. I was so excited when John invited me to come speak with you today, because there's a topic that I want to talk about that is really near and dear to my heart. And it speaks to some of the things that we're doing at General Motors that really take this idea of social engagement to the next level, and, and brands' involvement in social media, and how we can do uh, good things you know, with social media. Uh, in fact, really believe there's an opportunity to build communities without borders, and in the meantime, create a brand engagement, and get people talking about your brands in ways that they haven't been before. So first of all, I want to, uh, before we begin, maybe take a few steps back, all the way back to the very beginning of time. And what's, for me, so exciting about social media is it really taps into a, a human truth. We are social creatures. That's, that's what we, we like to do. We like to engage. We like to converse. We like to talk. And you know, back in the day, as we were hunting and gathering berries, you know, at the end of the day, we'd huddle in the cave and kind of tell stories about you know, the hunt or uh, the, big, the big story of the day. Um, and what social media has done, you know, Facebook and, and Twitter and Foursquare, is it really allows us to have those conversations at scale. Um, 650 million plus people on Facebook, over 300 million people on Twitter. You know, we really are creating these wonderful communities uh, without borders. And it really begs the question is, you know, what is a community? Um, where it's a place where people come together for shared interests, to talk about passions, joint passions that they have. And it's, it's really remarkable to be a part of that when you see people rallying around soft drinks and Coca-Cola. Over 20 million people are fans of Coca-Cola um, coming together, you know, on the notion of happiness, which is very exciting. Um, Skittles. 20, over 20 million people, again, rallying around this idea of fun and candy, you know, uniting people. Um, one of my favorites was the rapture. You know, you have this, it was just phenomenon. Last, uh, last week, uh, number one on Twitter trends was the rapture. So you have, you know, whether you're a believer in the rapture or not, or you just were having fun with it, you know, it was just incredible the types of conversations that people are having um, around, around topics. Near and dear to my heart for, for General Motors, you know, speaking of uh, re real-time marketing, uh, we had our CMO, Joel Iwanek, uh, during his first week of tweeting. We actually finally convinced him he should get out there and start having a voice and having a conversation with his audience. And uh, Ray Wirt from Jaloptic, which is an auto blog site, um, just kind of provoked him. He's, he's a big, passionate fan of the El Camino. And he said, you know, Mr. Iwanek, if we could get over 100,000 people making comments and united around the idea of the El Camino, bringing it back, would you do it? And he kind of played with it a little bit and toyed with them and said, okay, yeah, you know, let's see. Let's see how this goes. He started tweeting, and it just grew to be this phenomenal, you know, case of, of real-time marketing, people getting involved. To, and we went to the point where we decided to put up a, kind of an ode to the uh, El Camino on our website and had, just have had tremendous response. You know, old GM would have said, why would you do that? We can't, we don't sell the El Camino anymore. But the new GM said, we have some passionate people out there, a community of El Camino owners and fans who, you know, let's have a conversation with them and let's give them a destination and a place, you know, to build a relationship with them. And that's been a lot of fun. But that begs your question, okay, we're talking about candy and soft drinks and cars, you know, is there an opportunity to kind of do something bigger, you know, more substantive? to take this social media phenomenon and have a conversation to build communities um, rallied around something you know, more important. And so at General Motors, you know, we believe you can. We believe there's a place for brands to join communities and think about ways to give back. Because if you're constantly selling, if you're constantly taking from the community, that's really not what communities are about. We have to kind of be there for them. We have to create content that fuels the conversation. Um, but at GM, we think that there's an opportunity to take it even further and take it to the real world um, so that we're not just having conversations online through the digital space, but having conversations that matter. And we're doing things like building community. Um, an example of that is a program with Chevrolet that's called Diamonds and Dreams. 
And we have, through Facebook and through television commercials, and I'll, I'll play you an example of one soon, t taken this uh, platform that we have, Major League Baseball, and we've been associated with Major League Baseball at Chevrolet for many years, and decided that we wanted to go to the community and kind of crowdsource um, this idea at the grassroots level to rebuild baseball diamonds in communities all across the country and really asked local communities to give us the reasons why we should go to your town and uh, rebuild and, and to a really professional level type of uh, ballpark in your town. And it's been just a phenomenal experience uh, for the community. And I'll, I'll play a video here. It gives you a little more background into the program. built over 20 baseball diamonds uh, this year and plan to continue the program. It's been wildly successful. The type of press and exposure and tweets and retweets that have been on the program have been really encouraging. Uh, so it's taking a platform, amplifying it in the social media space and, and doing some things that make us feel pretty good and pretty proud to be a part of uh, Chevrolet uh, as a result. Um, also at Chevrolet, another thing that we're doing uh, this year, uh, beginning in uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, day in January began a year-long effort uh, which is building up towards the uh, reveal of the memorial on the Washington Mall uh, of Martin Luther King's memorial. He's like the first man of peace, the first non-president, the first African-American to have a memorial uh, on the mall, the National Mall. And we've been celebrating that all year long as General Motors is a big sponsor of it. But we thought, instead of just saying, you know, sponsored by um, Chevrolet, it's like what we decided, why don't we do something that helps to kind of reawaken his spirit in all of us. And we've put together a program called the Table of Brotherhood, uh, where we're going to unite um, people of different points of view uh, to sit down at a table and discuss very important issues to our communities. Um, all through you know, being sponsored and providing you know, that opportunity to come together and have dialogue um, through you know, the sponsorship of Chevrolet. So here's a video which gives you a little bit more background into this program. Oops. I still have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream today. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Chevrolet is honored to celebrate the unveiling of the Washington, D.C. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Take your seat at the table on August 28th. So you may ask yourself, how is, you know, as a marketer, how is that going to help us sell cars? Well, we truly believe um, that by taking the conversation to a, a deeper level, to kind of define our brand values, find the place, the connection points that we have with our communities, that our social communities, that will get more people liking our brands. You know, we're, start, we're doing a lot of listening and a lot of research that do indicate that when a, you have a fan or a follower, their likelihood to recommend your product or buy your product goes up by 
exponential percentages. And we're starting to you know, reap the benefits of owners talking about our brands, engaging in our brands, trying our brands, and speaking about our brands in ways that they haven't before. And we do believe that in the end, you know, that in turn, if we're investing in the community, then our community will then begin to invest in us by buying our products, by advocating for our products. So thank you very much. Really appreciate your time today.